<laughs> Leaving camp in Prora and the now stunning resort of Prora itself, I travel further north to the seaside resort of Labu. I'll show you where you can stay if you have a motorhome or camper van. Then we shall have a look around Labu seafront to see what to expect if you ever end up around this area of Germany. So I've um, parked up on the um, designated motorhome um, parking area. I'll take you around and have a look at it afterwards. In a place called Labu or Labo, L A B O E. Um, I've come here for a reason. There's um, one of the very last existing Type 7 U boats uh, that is down here uh, on the front. I've been before, but I've not really documented it, but this time I am going to. It's a, a really interesting uh, bit of our history and German history as well because U boat threat especially the uh, longest campaign the second world war was the atlantic um the atlantic one back at the atlantic from 1939 from september to may 1945 that's how long it were and it nearly um it affected it could have affected us badly but luckily enough fingers crossed we actually we did very very well anyway it doesn't matter uh i'm going to document and have a look at it but i'll take you around this um where this thing is um where this motorhome bare places it's only for parking there's nothing else here but i've had a look round. there's nothing else there's nowhere to park actually there's a little tiny space up the front but that's not good to me so i've had to come up here anyway so let's see what time it is quarter five you european time quarter four at all right let's go and pay this money well there's the van and there's the other motorhomes are parked here as well it's a nice spot. You're looking at five minutes into the town centre or the city centre or whatever it is of Labo or Labou. Right, there's a metre. Let's go and see how much it is. That's just taken me nearly an hour to get that ticket. It does not take Barclay card or any credit card, only anything that's linked to the German bank. That's it. It won't take anything. I've tried two cards and it won't work. So that in that motorhome there that lady's helped me out and a lady walking past with a dog tried her best to help me out and uh, what I've done is I give her 14 euro and she's paid for it with her card which is so kind but it's just ridiculous that doesn't make sense you know you've got money there but you've got you've got to put um, euros in euro coins you can't even put money in it's got to be coin otherwise you won't get your thing so just remember have you come here You've got to bring 14 euros. Plenty of room for lots of motorhomes. So you park sideways like that, you don't park like that. It would never work. He's right on this side here. You can park like that if you want. As it says there. Cool. Telling you which way buses go and which way motorhomes actually park up. These are all car spaces, I don't think you can actually park here. Just purely for cars, but they again spin round. There's quite a lot there for uh, motorhomes, so there's loads of room. Looking at that, they're probably you can get 30, 40, I reckon, there, no problem. Weekend, I can imagine it being busy, but it's Tuesday today, so there's nobody around, only a few of us, probably like 10 of us. So it's not too bad, it's a lot easier for people like me who just turn up. There's a nice restaurant, if you come early enough, you can go and get yourself a meal. I've not been this way before, but it takes me even closer to where I want to go tomorrow. Let's have a nosy. That looks like a nice place, I think it's a hotel of some kind. There's the Navy Memorial, just in the background. The restaurant here, just the bottom of that steep hill where the uh, where I'm camped. 
there's a submarine. It's even quicker going that way than it was the other way. The other way is only five minutes. That's about three minutes where I've just come from. Laboo, I think it's called really. Absolutely stunning. A cafe here. I'll come down here tomorrow anyway and uh, maybe have my dinner. I've got 24 hours of stay. I've only got here at five o'clock, so it'll be time for have a mooch around the front. That's worth a visit to you around here, the U995. Gives you some indication of what happened in the Second World War. Type 7C, so it was one of the most popular U-boats that the, um, the Kriegsmarine used. 703 of them were built, and uh, this is the last remaining one. This is a memorial to all the, um, the German Navy throughout the years. Very interesting indeed, I've been here before, but it's worthwhile going to have a look. You can get a combined ticket as well to get into the U-boat and this place. There's the combined prices if you decide to come here. If you don't know what it says then Google it. That's where I do. There's a hotel there, Hotel Admiral Shear. And night next door, part of the hotel is actually a nice little cafe restaurant. Across the road is a uh, little cafe there, just setting themselves up. It's only not even 10 o'clock yet. Another little, uh, another um, hotel there, with a restaurant included. The beach over there is really, really nice and sandy. Very gritty this sand, but it's very, very nice. The water's very clean. You can see how shallow it is there then, within about 50 to 100 metres it goes quite deep. It has to be because to that direction, that's where Kiel Harbour is. If you ever go to um, Norway from Germany, then I definitely recommend you catch the, um, um, I think it's Colour Line it were called when we went in 2016. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a cruise ship but overnight, it's fantastic. It's got so much entertainment on it, it looks really, really nice. I'll put some pictures on here so you can see what uh, I'm on about. I love this long walkway here. It's just so nice. The people that are on the bikes can actually ride on this, I think. It's much safer than riding on the road, but in Germany they're pretty safe anyway. If you decide to uh, get your push bike out, your bicycle, and go for a ride, it's fairly safe. They allow me this country, but in our country they don't. Shuffle the time being, but then again, I possibly may be off season at the moment. It is May. It's very quiet strolling down here, but as I said before, I'm early, it's only 10 o'clock. Nothing opens up till <coughs> probably after that. But it's nice stroll and it's lovely and sunny. I can imagine it being not very clever when it's uh, in winter. You're right the Baltic coast, you must have get some blinking bad weather over here. First aid place there and uh, toilets, no doubt you have to pay for them, but um, no doubt the first aid place, I'm assuming is overlooking the sea if you go for a swim. And that place there looks like some kind of indoor uh, swimming pool. That's a very similar in our country. A place called Blackpool. There's one there right at the front. Advertisements for some trips out to have a look around this harbour. 
Do you want to hire a bicycle? There you go. Bicycle hire. This is the place I mentioned. I think it is some kind of indoor swimming pool. A was as water and bad's bath. So it's got to be a bath. Swimming pool. Yeah, you've got a plan of um, Labu or Labo, however you pronounce it, and uh, no doubt it gives you information about different things. I think that means get off your bike and walk. I might be wrong, like, but. <laughs> oh, it's really nice round here. It's lovely for the children, absolutely fantastic. If you want to spend a day here with a picnic, it's perfect, especially when the weather's out like this. Beauty of these things like this for children, they fall off, they just hit the sand, it's going to cushion them so there's less chance of them being injured. Ivy is lovely on a house but uh, it does a lot of damage, otherwise it looks really nice. Lots of seats to rest your weary bones and legs. Some decay surfing there, if you can see it, I don't know if I picked it up or not, yeah, there you go. One of these things for looking over the bear, probably something like a Euro to have a look. Balcony up there to make it look like the front of a ship. Very nice. People look at me very strange. If they get close enough, they hear me talk, they think, where the hell's he come from? Like more seaside resorts, you have places you can go and buy souvenirs and postcards. And you've got a little bit of an outside sitting area for no doubt uh, the shops over there to the right hand side where the lads are cleaning up. That's a great idea that. Somebody is in a wheelchair, it's absolutely brilliant, I love it. Lots and lots of restaurants selling, well, typical fast food stuff, actually. Possible holiday flats, maybe. Looks like some kind of bandstand of something like that. Mm. All of these here have got their own balconies. That's really nice. Lovely little cafes on the front again. When it's really hot, you can sit under the trees. And uh, when the sun moves over, you can sit here out in the open. We're at the harbour side. Some expensive boats here. Very nice though. Very old fashioned, especially that one there in front of us. Without translating it, tag means day, free, free day, maybe 14 to 16. I'm not sure, 29 euro. Maybe for a cruise on one of these uh, really nice boats. There we go. I bet, I'll tell you something, if you're not seasick, <laughs> then it'd be worth having to go on one of these boats. They're gorgeous. Very nice indeed. That's if you're a sea dog. If you don't get seasick, then it's maybe worthwhile coming here and uh, jumping on a boat and uh, going for a little ride out in the, uh, into the Baltic Sea. Great little play area again. There's loads of play areas for children. It's brilliant and they're all free as well, which is even better. There's buzzes coming backward and forward. I'm not clear how to work them, but no doubt if you look it up, you'll find somewhere how to catch a buzz if you're in a motor home. You want to travel around here a bit without moving the motor home. You can hire bikes out here. I think they're electric. I don't know how it works. It might be something similar to what you can do in, in England, where you can hire the, um, uh, them little scooters out. I presume you just pay some money and off you go. Then we're coming to the uh, Labu town centre looking at it.
back a little market, Tom. Cool. The town centre is quite a hustle and bustle today. Plenty of things going on. Whether it's just a market that's on Wednesdays and I don't know. But it's uh, just like England, really. It's very nice. I'm not sure that's part of a cafe, but there's a, a nice balcony there that looks as well you dine on. Either that or you own the place, I don't know. Definitely an oriental... Um, Eating out Hanoi, I must be Vietnamese, I think. I don't see these on our street, just paying your money for some cigarettes, four euro for a pack, which is what, three quid? It's very cheap over in here. And there you have it, a walk around of uh, Labu, all about, however you pronounce it. Really nice place, definitely.